Hi guys, it's Mrs. Williams. Welcome to this week's edition of AR Story Hour. I get to be your guest reader today. I'm so excited. I think you'll really like the book I'm gonna share with you. Before we get started, I wanna read the names of all of our friends who have read this week and taken their AR quiz. We are so proud of you. It's a really long list. So listen carefully for your name and maybe you'll hear the name of a friend too. Here we go. Race Treaty, Aubrey Botts, Owen Botts, Blake Manji, Conrad Bima, Nora Boonstoppel, Liam Maxwell, Jared Beltran Solorzano, Johan Beltran Solorzano, Lily Richards, Wyatt Richards, Samantha Force, Aaron Force, Daniel Crossabea, Liam Cheney Nera, Abigail Cleveland, Emma Cleveland, Ethan Martinez, Bella Lagrama, Addison Pledger, Lucas Scott, Stephen Wilson, Sienna Martinez, Nayeli Hernandez, Izzy Anton Giovanni, Landon Anton Giovanni, Lila Anton Giovanni, Arias Smith, Brody Smith, Ashley Willis, and Samantha Willis. Great job, guys. Keep reading and taking those AR tests. All right, so the book I'm gonna share with you today is called the Day the Crayons Quit. I love this book. It's a great book. Um, I love to color. I think coloring is really fun and it's very relaxing. And so um, I think this book though might give us a different perspective about coloring. We'll see. Tell me what you think. The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt pictures by Oliver Jeffers from the illustrator of Stuck and this moose belongs to me. The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners if I'm lucky. And wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray. And that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of, the, one of those things? Such big animals. Maybe penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Dear Duncan, 
you color with me. But why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the color of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all these oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break! Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, would you please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book? I think she did a fabulous job of trying to stay inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could all use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, 
poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. So, what'd you think? Pretty great, huh? Hey, if you loved this book, you need to know that there are more books about the crayons. So maybe have your parents go online and see if they can find um, the rest of them because this is not the only adventure that um, the crayons and Duncan have together. So if you really like this book, I encourage you to check out the rest of them. And again, keep reading, have a great time, and maybe do some coloring today just for fun. What do you think? Yeah, I think that'd be great. All right, bye guys.